Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brother Fisher Field here at Ron Calcano Stadium for tonight's WCAL game between the visiting Archbishop Mitty Monarchs and the home team St. Francis Lancers. I'm Paul Cunningham, joined as always by my compadre, the retired mailman, Terry Ward. And we're expecting a heck of a game here tonight, Mr. Ward. We finally got it going. There's a little power outage regarding the lights, <laughs> but the field looks great, and it is now all lit up. And uh, excellent game. First uh, WCL. But and there is no uh, power outage with the kids. They're ready to go. They want to get out here, and these young men are chomping at the bit to go ahead and play some football. They're going to go ahead and announce the starting lineups for the Lancers, and then we'll have a quick uh, moment of silence as Father Tony will uh, give a prayer prior to the start of the game. The Lancers come in, Mr. Ward, you've got the records. Yeah, the, Lancers uh, at one and three, and real tough schedule. Cal Purs has them at a, well, it's a rating, 31.9. They got Sarah as the best rating playing uh, hard games at 35.9, so uh, St. Francis definitely like they always do. They play who's a, the best teams where Mitty is 3-0, uh, and oh, but uh, the teams they have played is uh, Aptos, uh, James Logan, and Santa Teresa. Good teams, but uh, St. Francis uh, looking for uh, their yeah, first win in the WCL, yeah. That doesn't match De La Salle and... Uh no, it certainly does not. De La Salle, and they played a Monterey Trail Elk Grove and a Helix team down south, too. Yeah, the Helix team from San Diego was oh. the first game of the season. I was here to watch some of that, and the Lancers looked tough early on, but uh, Helix just really wore them down, and then the second yeah. half, they pulled away. But, so, uh, But Greg, uh, Greg's going to play the people and uh, Coach get his team ready. Coach absolutely. Greg Calcagno, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He's going to have them absolutely ready to go, and then coach for Archbishop Mitty, Danny Sullivan, will uh, certainly have his Monarchs ready to go. So as they get ready to finish up announcing the lineups and then they'll do the prayer, we'll break away for a second. We'll be back with the op opening kickoff in just a moment. All right, back for the kickoff. The Lancers will be kicking off to Archbishop Mitty. Deep to receive for Mitty is number five. Toju Maku and number 12, Billy Hutton. For the Lancers, their kicker is Christopher Hahn. As we are about to get underway here, the Monarchs, Midi Monarchs, Archbishop Midi Monarchs placing their undefeated record on the line here tonight against the one and three Lancers, but don't discount the Lancers at all based on that record with the teams they have played in the preseason. So Han signals he's ready. His Lancer mates signal they're ready and the kick is away. It's deep and will be taken just outside the end zone. So he's going to have to pick it up. Fumble, Fumble on the ball. A scramble for it. The Lancers say they have Good it and man. they do. Wow. Maku never had a handle on it. He tried mm -hmm. to get it right outside the goal line rather than letting it go into the end zone. Muffed it a little bit, went to pick it up, dropped it again, and the Lancers come in and take control of the ball. Yeah, right arm came in and uh, swiped at that ball, and they got it. Wow. That's too bad for Mitty. That's, That's a tough break on the opening tough break kickoff, opening. for yeah. sure. Takes the wind out of your sails. And the Lancers set up first and goal at the seven-yard line. Kiana Aina is the tailback for the Lancers and one of their big runners. He gets the ball, probes the defense, gets inside the five. Looks like he might be down to the four. We'll see where they put it. Looks like they're gonna put it right on the five yard line. So pick up of two on the play. It'll be second down and goal from the five. Yeah, your junior uh, linebacker, Richardson, Zion Richardson, in with the initial stop, but uh, he had some help. Same formation for the Lancers. One receiver split to the right, Perry and Williams. 
Motion to the right to give again to Kiana Aina. This time he's Nothing. dropped behind the Nothing. line. Nothing doing that. A loss of two on the play. They go back to the seven yard line. It sets up a third and goal from the seven. Yeah, K K Caden Allard, senior. And on the stop, a nice clean tackle. Didn't let him get around the corner. So the Lancers break the huddle again. This time they've got two receivers, one split to the left, one split to the right. Three-step drop, whistles on the play. Against, against the, the Monarchs. Monarchs. So five yard penalty, tough penalty. Gets it down inside the five now to the four. As they were called for an offside. Brings up a third and goal from the four yard line. Monarchs a little anxious there. See if Aaron Knapp looked to pass on a quick three step drop. We'll see what he comes up with this time on a third and four. Same formation, two split wide, three step drop, same, play. same play going into the corner for the drift and it's, it's caught. caught for the touchdown. They're fighting for it, but it was a catch. Touchdown St. Francis. And, and a flag for flag. possibly excessive celebration against the Lancers. A catch made by Perry and Williams, number 10. And uh, McCool was right there fighting with them. And uh, they went down on the ground. And uh, let's see what this flag's about, buddy. The official's discussing it. The crowd chanting that he's a sophomore. Perry and Williams and a nice job indeed. Hahn out for the extra point, Christopher Hahn. Snap, spot, kick is up. And the kick is good, a break in the action. 9.57 to go here in the first quarter. The Lancers have a seven to nothing lead. So the Lancers to kick off on the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. They'll be kicking off from their own 25 yard line. Deep to receive for the Monarchs is number 33 Ethan McCombie is in now in place of the previous <laughs> receiver and Billy Hutton is still out there. Oh Deep yeah. to receive for the Monarchs. Here is the kick high towards the middle of the field. It will be taken by number 33, Ethan McCombie, and he gets out over the 35 yard line, close to the 36. We'll see where they put it. With uh, senior Luke Wall, initial stop. They'll place it at the 37 yard line where Archbishop Mitty will set up shop. First and 10. Bringing them out is their quarterback number 14, Joey Campagna. Campagna working out of the shotgun on first down. Takes the snap, gives, and pickup of maybe a yard on the play. Ball carrier was number six, A.J. Senezal. Tua up from his corner position. Nice stop. Cahoon also, number four. Gain of two, second and eight. So it'll be second down and eight for the Monarchs at their own 39 yard line. Get from the shotgun, a blitz by oh, the Lancers whoa. and they're all over that play and the ball may have come free but it was picked up. We're gonna, they're gonna rule him down at the 35 yard line as Senezal was swarmed over as the Lancers blitzed. 
Yeah, Ryan uh, Oberweiss Mannion was in, in on immediately. Almost untouched there, bud. Third down and 12 for the Monarchs. Campania takes a low snap, throws over towards the sidelines, has a man, but incomplete. Made a dive for the ball, would have been short of the first down either yeah. way, but couldn't yeah. come up with it. Brings up a fourth and 12 in a punting situation for Archbishop Mitty. Yeah, ball thrown short. Number. Is that number six Hard there, to bud? Tell. No, it looks like maybe six. 20s? He won't, he won't do that. <laughs> the punter's out there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch his number as he comes around. It's number 36. No, partially blocked. And the Monarchs will let it roll. I'm looking 36, no, 26. Oh, 30, Dylan. Dylan Olin. All right. Dylan had the ball touched a little. So the Lancers will set up on the 43 yard line. First down and 10. Lancers come out in a different formation this time. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, and they're out of the shotgun also. So a different look completely. Throw off for a running back screen type play out to Pianaina, and he loses a yard. It'll bring yeah. up second down and 11. K Carrera up there with the uh, quick hit along with uh, Allard. Good job by Archbishop Mitty to get right on it. Seven minutes, 40 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Long time in the huddle by the Lancers. The deep official has his arm up and he's starting to count down. The Lancers better hustle a little bit here. They get the snap off. Give to number 33 and he's thrown to the ground by the Monarchs. That was Andrew Scherenberg on the carry. To kick a Reed, number 45, senior linebacker. Slowed him down. We're looking at uh, third and 11 here. Nap out of the shotgun. Cross back, he's in trouble. Scrambles to his left. He has room and now he points to blocker. Says get, oh, he's over the line of scrimmage when he threw it. I don't, there's the flags down. Oh yeah. He was well past the line of scrimmage. He, <laughs> it wasn't a lateral. I thought he was, I thought he was gonna keep running. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Lost track of where that line was. Certainly did by about four yards. <laughs> So we'll see if uh, the Monarchs will take the penalty. And they will. They will. It's only five yards, takes it back. And I'm a little surprised. I thought they made a for forced a fourth down and uh, tried to get the ball back, but I, maybe they figured the Lancers would go for it oh, on the no. fourth. Got wholesale oh, changes now, here, yeah. Oh, because of, I'm sorry, because of the penalty, it's a loss of down on an illegal forward pass. So There's it is fourth, fourth down. down. My mistake. There you go. This is our first football game of the season. I forgot it's that. It's a shakedown, crew, buddy. Shakedown. It's a shakedown. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Oh, he does the punting also, buddy. He does it all. 
Brandon Hightower is deep Whoa. for the Monarchs. He looks for it and he's going to let it go. Check that. That was actually Billy Hutton deep. Lance with a lot of roll goes all the way down to the 11-yard line. And the Monarchs not with good field position. Setting up shop 6-17 to go in the first quarter. The Monarchs will come out in mass from the sideline as they make their call from there. I noticed on the first series and second series that the Monarchs, when they um, when they huddle, their receivers stay out where they're yes. supposed to be, and then yeah. it's just the linemen and backs that go ahead and uh, you want and well. Go into the huddle. I, I totally agree. You wonder how they know what formation uh, they're right, going to use. Yeah. Right. There must be a sign coming from the sideline to Got let them it. know right away what it is. So once again, from the handoff, it rolls up in the air again. It's a turnover. The Lancers have it. Tackled down at the four-yard line. My it's goodness, that was wild. Number 24, that was Afoa Tuua. Tuua. That popped right to him. I did. Somebody must have stuck an arm in there and popped the ball. It, it was Senezal that had the ball. He got through the line. Looked like he was going to get some good yardage, and suddenly the ball came Just flying came out of his arms. And once again, the Lancers are set up with a gift of first and goal from the four-yard line. That was semi-bizarre, bud. It was semi-bizarre. Well, you know, you had popped. lights going out early in the game. Now you got <laughs> turnovers down, and who knows what's going to happen. But it, he had a good hole, too. He, he had some yards on that carry. I think we, it's, you know, it's the uh, autumn autumnal, or uh, <laughs> maybe that's part of it, to give mm -hmm. good push by the offensive line as Kiana Aina gets down. Almost, it looks like to the two-yard line they're going to put it. Thought maybe he got inside the two, but he's right at the two-yard line. Second down and goal from the two. This would be a huge stop for the Monarchs if they can do it. And Lancers. Knocking on the door again. One receiver split to the left. That's Perrion Williams, the sophomore. Give again and uh -oh. right into the end zone, but whistles blow. A flag before the play. Solomon Fayetti led the way on that number 30 for the Lancers. So it's against. It looks like it's against the Monarchs, which will be half touched. the distance to oh. the goal. And that will be a one-yard penalty. <laughs> <laughs> so it remains second down and goal. Now the ball at the one-yard line. Let's see if maybe Knapp I took does the, a sneak. Took the words right out of my mouth. Get behind him and push him in. No, nope. to give him. Same and hole the again. Same hole again and the same wide opening. Same hole. Yep. Driven a truck through there. Same hole again with uh, Aina into the end zone. Yeah. The cannon still works. Thirteen to nothing lead. We await the extra point. Christopher Hahn out there. Snap spot, kick is up, and the kick is good. A break in the action, 5-21 to go here in the first quarter. The Lancers in the lead, 14 to nothing. So for Archbishop Mitty, going deep again now is A.J. Senezal. Excuse me, number 33 is going deep. That's Ethan McCombie. He's joined back there still by Billy Hutton. Christopher Hamm to kick it off for the Lancers. And the Monarchs need to get some offense going here quickly before they fall too far behind in this ball game. Kick is into the end zone for an automatic touchback. Archbishop Mitty will set up the 20-yard line. 
Christopher Hahn going to wear that leg out. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot of action already. <laughs> okay, now just sustain a nice drive here. Mitty's got to get it together. Nothing you can do about turnovers. Yeah. Let's get some plays together. They're, they'll run the ball, mix it up. If it was legal, I would tell him to put a handle on the ball, but that's not legal in no. California. No. I don't, is it in Nevada legal? It's sometimes Some, in Nevada. If you're yeah, in Vegas, right. you can kind of. Okay. Know, I hear you there. Depends boy. how much money's on the game. Okay. Good. So run out. Sims all again in good yardage. He gets out close to the 25-yard line, and the Lancers now are clearly tugging at that ball as he comes They're going up right at on it, the yeah. tacklers. They're, they've sniffed some blood in the water, and they're going to say, well, if we can right. get that ball, yeah. Yeah, Luke Wall was in on the stop and right at the ball. Second down and five. Give again to Sanders. All he tries to cut back against the grain, slips down on the Slip turf. Down, yeah. Looks like he lost maybe a yard. Yeah. Slipped down the Tuolua. The senior, 5'11. Didn't have to do too much work. Third down and six. Four minutes in, 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Low snap, nice job by Campagna to get it, and a nice completion. On the outside, slow to get up is his tight end, yeah. number nine, Caden Allard, but a nice catch in yeah. traffic. Joseph Payer put a good hit on him. Quickly, the Monarchs come to the line of scrimmage, they go no huddle. Now they slow it down. Uh, yeah. Have a little communication from the sideline. Yeah. They wanted to keep the Lancers from substituting. They were looking at the coaches. Campania again throws, and this time another looks like a slip on the turf again, this time by number one, Maddox Gomez. Yeah. Alatini was right there, but the pass is a little uh, off target. Second and 10 at the 37. I'm more entering fall, but I don't see any dew whether or anything that would be no. up there on the grass or just sort of slipping when they're trying to come back. That's twice on this series. Second down and 10. Pania has it, takes the handoff, throws deep down the middle, dive Ooh. for the ball, incomplete. Tempted for Caden Allard. He made a heck of an effort to go ahead and make that catch, just unable to get to it, just off his fingertips. Just, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, but uh, just off his fingertips. Nice throw, would have been an excellent catch. So a third down and 10. Yeah, the, uh, he's getting it from somebody else. We're, Paul and I were talking about the offensive uh, ends not going to the huddle. Yeah, somebody else is giving them They're the formation. Some, yes. Yeah. Motion, long motion, a little mix up in the backfield. Campani in trouble, he's gonna run. He knocks down one tackle, knocks down a second, loses There's the a ball. ball. It's loose, we'll see who has it. Boy, it looked like number 15. Campania making that second effort. We'll see who they get. They got to unpile the. Quick, Joseph Payer. The looks body. Like he was on it. Still and no call. Both sides are down there. They're going to nope, nope, keep nope. it with the Monarchs. And that's yeah. a break. Makua. That's a break for Archbishop Mitty. Yeah. It brings up a fourth down and a big decision now. By the Monarchs, looks like they're going to go for it. It's less than a yard. I don't blame them. They're down by 14 in the fourth in the first quarter. You might as well oh, sure. see what you can go ahead and do. You, you're out at the 46-yard line. Absolutely. More teams should go at that fourth and one or two. 
Let's say just try to draw the Lancers off. They don't, they give, and. He didn't get it. Man. No, he did not get it. He did not get it. You are absolutely he right. He did not get it, we can see that. Jonah Cronin, the junior quarterback had come in. Chase Calhoun wrapped him up. Totally, both arms right around his body and uh, wrapped him up and slowed him down. Chase a sophomore, boy, is a nice stop. You know, you almost wonder on a play like that, it's like, does Archbishop Mitty have any plays where the quarterback goes under center? Everything's from the shotgun, and that You're makes right. it difficult to pick up a yard when you've got to start from running from three yards back, back. or four yards back, yeah. But maybe a pitch outside or something. I hear you, buddy. I agree. So the Lancers with the ball in Monarch territory at the 45-yard line. Excellent field position. High formation, the fake, not looking to pass, throwing deep down the sideline, looking for the sophomore, incomplete. A little push at the end, but no flag. I don't see oh, a need for a flag. I, a put flag on my monitor here. I and, don't. Uh, boy, let's see. Oh, there is a flag. Williams was, was your uh, wide receiver. I don't think Williams was ever going to get they call pass interference i didn't think he had a chance yeah, no. to get to that ball but definitely was uh but maybe he held him up sooner than uh later maybe we just saw the end of the push at the end and there was something earlier in the that's affirmative it's against the monarchs so a 15 yard penalty First and 10 at the Monarch 30 yard line now for the Lancers. Two receivers to the left. Leave Scherenberg in a tailback. They throw out to the outside, caught by Williams. Yep, there's another flag down there, buddy. Grant Schmidt was in on the stop on that play. Williams picked up three on the play. Let's see what the uh, flag is. It's against the Lancers. It is against the Lancers, holding. it's holding. The Monarch fans were enraged when they saw that flag. Now I, they appear to be happy. You didn't get a chance to talk to the officials before the game, did you? I did not. Normally, if I do run into them, I tell them to keep that flag in their pocket. Keep the game moving. Let the kids play. So it'll be a first down and 17 for the Lancers as it's from the point of the hold. The lights are out, so I couldn't find them. Buddy. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Single running back. Sharonberg, he slips on the turf too. Yes, he did. It appears, and he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. I was looking. I was so funny. I was looking at his feet, and he definitely slipped. Goodness. Eric Robles in on the stop for the Monarchs. Oh, well, they're graciously giving him a gain of one, so it'll be second and sixteen. I. The smallest one yard I've seen. <laughs> so the Monarchs need to get a stop here. They cannot afford to fall behind by 21 in the first quarter. There's still a minute 25 to go here in the first quarter. A long first quarter. Timeout. The timeout taken by the Lancers. Great Calcani wants to talk about it. So we've got a break in the action. 120 to go in the first quarter to the St. Francis Lancers in the lead, 14 to nothing. Lancers come out from the timeout. They had, uh, had time to talk about it. Let's see what's coming. The fake throw out in the flat is complete, but immediately tackled is Williams and he is slow to get up. Yeah. He took a shot, he went up to get it and took a shot in the ribs. Yeah, Kane Allard, uh, senior linebacker. Stuck him real good. 
He's got to take a deep breath there. Yeah, yeah, he got it knocked out of him. He got, hopefully it's just the wind knocked out, but that will give us yet another break in the action. A minute six to go here in the first quarter. He's 14 to nothing, St. Francis. So Williams able to get up and get off the field under his own power. So hopefully it was just maybe getting the wind knocked out of him. Let's see what they got for 16 yards here. Third down and 16. Ball at the 34 yard line of Archbishop Mitty. Empty backfield now. First time we've seen that tonight. Throws out of the flat, complete. Down inside the 10, a huge first down by the Lancers. As long as he didn't step out of bounds, we'll see what there's yeah. some discussion. I don't know. He was walking the tightrope down there. Let's see what they're gonna call. They're calling delay of game on the Lancers. Wow. They just didn't get it off Nap with a perfect throw, but just they didn't get the snap off before time. Delay of game against St. Francis. Tough break. As that was going to get him down close to the 10 yard again, 10 yard line again. And the Archbishop Mini Monarch fans are extremely happy. Breathe a sigh of relief. Pushes it back to the 44 yard line. It's a third and 24. Now you just hope maybe you can get a field goal range, a draw play. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. And some good yardage trying. He needs a block. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. So a field goal attempt would be 47 yards. When you're up 14, I don't know if they'll go for it. I didn't see Han warming up in pregame, so I'm not sure how what his range is. That was a good call. That was a good call. And it looks like... The Lancers are just going to let the clock run out. They'll talk about it as we are at the end of the first quarter with St. Francis in the lead, 14 to nothing. Lancers come back out onto the field and it's like they're going to go for it. They've got a fourth down and 11. Nap out of the shotgun. Wow. It's very interesting here. Nap has to run, he throws, has his man caught, and oh, no, dropped, drop. incomplete. As Perrion Williams went up for it, he had it for a second. I don't know if the defender knocked but, it out uh, of yeah. his hands or not, but. Grant Schmidt knocked him out as they were going down. Good defense by the Monarchs, and Excellent. that's a turnover on downs. That was good call, good play. Grant Schmidt, excellent on the defense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it would have been a beautiful catch if it had been made. Wasn't able to come down with it, and now Archbishop Mitty hoping here in the second quarter to possibly turn the momentum around a little bit on that defensive stop. Panya fakes. Throws, has a man open and knocked after contact. It was intended for Billy Hutton, and Hutton takes a shot to the midsection. Can he yeah. feel for a few minutes? Mac Mar Maroka, senior. There he is. He had Hutton open. He just kind of threw it a little bit behind him. Hutton had to reach back, and that allowed the Lancer defender to come in and lay some uh, shoulder pad into his midsection. Second and 10. Panya with the give, trying to find some room to roam and nothing doing as the Lancers swarm in on him. The carrier yeah. is the combi. Nothing doing because Ryan Oberweiss Mannion was right there to make the stop. Ryan's a senior. Yeah. 
I think Ryan just kind of said, no, why, why are you running towards me? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Big third down here, buddy. Third and 11. Throw Ooh. looking for his man, streaking down the field. He just, that was almost like a timing play. He had to get rid of it. There was pressure on Boy, him. Boy, he got popped. And he just got rid of it. And nothing doing brings up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Monarchs. Number 36, Dylan Elaine is out to punt it away. Dylan Elaine, I'll go with. Yeah, we. Uh, that's our 36 guy. Yes, indeed. High snap comes down with it. Blah! Blah. Never got it off his foot. Not even the Lancers close. pick it up. It was four Lancers down, and it's like wow! Holy moly! He went right in it. I mean, he almost picked it up off his foot. Wow! Special teams. The Lancer special teams are playing ex extremely well. Yeah. Chase Cahoon. One of the, it was four guys there, Paulie. Yeah, no, they were all, it was a, it was a jailbreak. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were all coming. Whoa. So the Lancers Once set again, up on the 18 yard line. Great field position, buddy. From the shotgun. Throw out into the flat is complete to Williams. Williams puts a couple of moves on, continues to fight for yardage, gets inside the five down close to, excuse me, inside the 15 down close to the 12. And that's where they're going to spot it, right on the 12 yard line. Pick up of six on the play, brings up second down and four. Nap again out of the shotgun. Gives to Kiana Aina. Kiana Aina, my goodness. Untouched into the end zone, off right tackle, and that was as easy as it gets. Yeah. The Lancers jump out to a 20 to nothing lead. Yeah. Boy, that right side of that line. Christopher hand on for the extra point. Snap spot, kick is up. And the kick is good, breaking the action. 9.50 to go here in the first half. 21 to nothing, St. Francis. So the Monarchs now need to do some serious rallying. Trailing 21 to nothing here in the first half. Archbishop Mitty coming in with a 3-0 record. But rather kind of self-destructing here with a couple of turnovers and block punt and setting up the Lancers three times inside the 20-yard line, which led to all three scores. Kick is away deep and into the end zone for a touchback. And the Monarchs will set up first and 10 at the 20 yard line. I uh, I should have checked to see who Sarah's playing tonight. Darn it, I didn't check my schedule. But uh, highly improved team this year, but keep our eye on uh, Valley Christian. Oh, all right. They got a very strong, good looking team this okay. year. I believe we're doing that game here on the uh, Is that KMBT a home game here? Yeah. Season, yeah. I, be I believe. Okay. I have to go back and look at my schedule. But they, uh, Valley Christian, real strong. Monarchs out of the shotgun. Low snap. Campania is 
Whew. Again, looks like a little, little combination of gravity and a hit senior, on the tackle. Senior uh, Tio senior, and then there he is, number six. That was quick. That was quick. Brings up a second down and 12. The St. Francis Lancer defense looking very dominant here in the first half. Very strong. Monarch struggling to get much of anything going on offense. Pania has it in trouble and brought down. So a sack on the play down to the 11-yard line. Yeah. Nothing going, nothing going. Nothing. David uh, Vacalumio, senior. There he is. You can read the name better than I can pronounce it. Yeah. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the half. Mitty's got to put something together here, buddy. Well, you know, yeah. Sir. Another completed pass Ooh. for a pickup of about four yards, but hit immediately upon catching the ball, and that brings up a fourth down and a punting situation yet again. Maroka, yeah. So Archbishop Mitty will and see. Moa. Yep, Maroka the Moa. There he is. 14 in on this quick stop. They're quick. This defense is. There's a quick defense. And they're going to see if they can get in on this punt yet again. Yeah. Monarch's got to tighten up this line now. High, High snap. This time the punt is away. It's a wobbly one that hits at the 40 but takes a nice kick. Kip picked up by the Lancers. A gutsy move by Joey Paulson to go ahead and take it on a one-off, kind of like a shortstop, just picking it up off the turf well, he, he and want, taking off. He wanted to get his uni dirty. He did. You he know? did. Hard to get dirty on artificial <laughs> turf, but he was oh, going to give it well, a shot. Yeah, there you go. Get stained. Stained, stay, yeah. He wanted to get some of those rubber balls on yeah, it, those yeah. little <laughs> tiny rubber. So the Lancers set up at the 38-yard line, first down and 10. From the shotgun, the give in the backfield is Scherenberg. Scherenberg loses yardage. A flag on the play. We'll see what that's all about. Looks like Monarchs will. Takataria Reed, yeah. Senior was in on the stop. And that was. Scherenberg's a senior running back. Yeah. Coach Calgano giving him some time. So first down and 20 now for St. Francis. You know, but for those turnovers, you figure all three scores have come inside the 20. Yes, they've if all. If Archbishop Mitty hangs onto the ball, well, you got a ball game going here. There was almost some movement there on the It's been offense. great field position, yeah. yeah. Going Absolutely. deep, looking for the man and leads no. him out of bounds. Oh my goodness, jumps over a couple of the bystanders over there. That's where Davis Sorio and Barry Ivers hang out. Is Iver, you just. And it looks like somebody's down over there. Is it no, the player that, getting no, up? Or no, is, no, all right. No. But boy, he went for it and uh, he almost ran over. That was Williams. The two retired coaches, Davis Sorio and Barry Ivers. Yeah. Because they don't, they can't move to their left anymore. They're no. pretty good to their right, but they right. can't go to their left at all. And nope. that's what they would have had to do in that point. They, uh, yes, sir. Their lateral movement has really diminished over the years. I guess that's what happens, buddy. Well, yeah. All right, here we go, second and 20. Scherenberg again, and Scherenberg really unable to get his footing out there. He slipped a couple of times, and he might have got a yard on it. Changes cleats. Don Santos Hararo. 
it seems both sides are kind of having a difficult time keeping their footing. Third and 20. Six minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the half. And at this point, with a 21 to nothing lead, the Lancers are very happy just to run the ball and keep the clock gonna, going. Just going to say, you don't want to lose your concentration either, though. True. With this lead and. Uh, well, they stay out of the uh, shotgun, which they should on third and 20. That does make sense. Knapp has plenty of time. Could have baked a cake back there. It's incomplete. Or did he? He caught it. He made. Made the catch pickup of 10 on the play, brings up a fourth down. Catch was by Sefanaia Alatini. So it'll be a fourth down and nine. So a pickup of 11 on the pass play. Let's see what they're gonna do. They, they'll go for it. Yeah. Coach Calcani having a rather long talk with whoever's bringing the play in. Tight end. Boy, they're really taking their time here. I don't know if they're. The official now has his arm up, so he's going to start counting it down, and they're still in the huddle. They're going to take a timeout time out. right before they get the penalty. And they do. Timeout called with 4.55 to go here in the half. St. Francis Lancers in the lead, 21 to nothing. We're back, the Lancers on a fourth and nine. Looking, throwing down the flat. Just has to beat a man, does, gets down well, inside the close. 30. That is, is that? close to the first down. Very close. Very Leonardo. close. Allard in on the stop. And they are giving it turnover on downs to Archbishop Mitty. So a first and 10 for the Monarchs at the 29 yard line. Again, if they could get some points on the board before halftime, they got a shot at this. Let's give them confidence. Uh, They're going to get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, so give they them a little put, momentum, yeah, sure. They could put some points on the board. They get themselves back into this thing. Trying to get on the outside. Nothing That's not going to happen. Nothing doing. As A.J. Senezal loses a yard or two on the play. That's not going to happen when you got Mark uh, Maroka coming in. The, the <laughs> Lancer defensive line is very quick, and they're really... They pounded them. They, yeah, the yeah. Monarchs just can't get outside on them. They nope. can't turn the corner. Maroka's a 6'3 senior. Quick. Very. The defense is really quick tonight for these Lancers. And a timeout Time out. called by Archbishop Mini. And the Lancers are playing like a 4-4. Four, four, four down linemen, four linebackers, and only three defensive backs. They're going single coverage on their defense, but a break in the action, 403 to go in the first half, 21 to nothing, St. Francis. Ready. The Monarchs come out to the line of scrimmage and the Lancers come out from their defensive huddle on their sideline, the second down and 12. Pony getting a short snap, low snap. Man open, there he's got go. it. It's off to the races, the 20, the 10, yeah. 5, touchdown, Archbishop Vinnie Maddox, Maddox Gomez. And a perfect pass from Campania. And that'll put some wind back in the sails for there Archbishop Vinnie. Just what they needed. Long touchdown play, and boy, Long. he had some good speed going down that sideline. As soon as he caught that ball, he outran the uh, Payer, Joseph Payer. 
for the Lancers, and uh, that's what they many needed. So many hustling there. <laughs> Special teams out there for the extra point. Nate Malone to attempt the extra point. First time we've seen him out on the field tonight. Yep. Snap spot, kick is up, and the kick is no good. Oh, Wide Malone. to the left, Malone couldn't convert, so a break in the action, 3.52 to go in the first half. It is 21 to six, St. Francis. So Archbishop Mitty to kick off to the Lancers. Nate Malone out to kick away. That's the first time we're gonna see the Lancers return a kick here tonight. Looks like Perry and Williams is deep. I'm trying to get the second. Looks like it's Kiana Aina back with him. Deep to receive. Kick by Malone and he's off offsides on the Monarchs. Well, it's the first time we've seen their special teams tonight. And, <laughs> and the, they, uh, they showed. Was, yeah, it was on the far side of the field. I mean, he got a two yard jump before the ball was kicked. He was well off. It wasn't close. So that'll back it up. So they just, what, five yards back? Five yards okay. back. Yeah, they'll kick it off from the 35. So the Lancers can scooch up a little bit on the return. Okay, let's try this again. 352 left. And it's another squibber. Squib kick and kicked around, still kicked around, and then falling. It's wisely, wisely falling on the ball. Were the Lancers. Yeah. That was Kiana Aina. The running back, yeah. Who fell on it and. Uh, well, maybe they had a good idea by squibbing it like Squid that, Squib Squib kick was a good idea. Good Kiana idea. Aina had a tough time handling it and wisely decided, well, this is enough of this tomfoolery. I'm just going to fall on the ball. And the Lancers have good field position at the 33-yard line. 3.49 to go in the half. Couple last drives have stalled. Let's see what they can do here. Lancers have one timeout left. A run up the middle. So it's like Scherenberg and actually some good positive yardage. So a pickup of eight on the play. It'll bring up a second down and two. Clock continues to run. Three step, four step drop. Now looking to throw, Knapp might run. And ooh, he takes a hit, takes another hit, but gets out to the 47 yard line. First down for the Lancers. Dos Santos Harrow in on the initial stop. He's a junior. Under three minutes to go here in the first half. Nap under center. Fakes, looks to the right, runs to the right. Now throws it away. Smart, that's a good, smart move by Nap to go ahead and just get rid of the ball. Live to throw another day, second down and 10. Second down and 10. 
Two receivers to the left for the Lancers. Filetti. Quick throw out. To Williams wins. has it. Williams breaks away from the tackle, but then backs out of, bounds. out of bounds. Yeah. Yes. Pick up a three on the play. It'll be a third down and seven. Senior Makua forced him out of bounds. Let's see what they're going to call third down. They've gone it. They've been going for it on fourth down a couple times now. Let's see how much they get on this third down if it's going to be worth. That touchdown, though, I don't know. Monarch scoring. Knapp going under center. The fake has time now and a little bit of trouble. Now in big trouble. Now breaks away from it, stumbles, bumbles, and falls for the first down as Knapp. With a little bit of Houdini in him. Got out of that trap in the backfield, able to pick up enough yardage for the first down. They're looking here. Is that a? Is there a flag? A penalty? There is. I did not see the flag. It's a hold. Apparently. So that brings up now a third down and twelve. All and for naught. That was a good play by Knapp. Well, and now we broke learned away. That we learned the truth behind the magic where Houdini had help. He had a hold and he got him down there. Timeout called by Archbishop Mitty. 2.06 to go in the first half. It is 21 to 6, St. Francis. So the Lancers come up to the line of scrimmage here on a third down and 12. They're at their own 45-yard line. They only got three rushers here. Everybody playing back deep. Fake and a give. Oh, man, knocked down by his own man. And, and Sharon, and now a flag as the coach came running out on the field. I'm not sure why the coach came out. Scherenberg ran into his own man and went down. Good night. These guys. So the long discussion by the officials as to why well, I, I didn't I see, couldn't see I anything. Didn't see a penalty. No, I, I could not see anything, buddy. <clears throat> I didn't see anything either. Personal foul against Mitty. I don't know what the personal foul was for. Huh. That's a big one. It is. It'll take it down for a first down. Gosh, I didn't see it, uh, everybody out there in TV land. I, I saw nothing. I saw Scherenberg run into his own man. That's all I saw. Well, here's your first and ten. With, um, two minutes to go. So first and ten out of the shotgun. Nap in trouble. Nap throws towards the sideline. Ooh, that was a dangerous throw. Almost could have been picked off. Brings up a second down and 10. Minute 53 to go in the half.
Aztec slips again. Boy, that is, I don't know if it's a pink that's slippery. Knapp's going to run and take it himself. Now he's, he's going to slip on his own and go sliding in. They go no huddle, minute 36. It's second down and three. Plenty of time. Slips again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on out Let's get there. These cle- what, what, are they, what are they cleats? Are they wearing them? I don't know what they're wearing. I have no idea, but everybody seems to be slipping on the ground. Timeout is called by St. Francis. A break in the action, a minute 17 to go in the half. It is 21 to 6, St. Francis. Lancers come out. It is a fourth down and eight. They're going to punt it away. Waiting on the snap. Now it's Hunt is away, it's pooched high, gonna come down around the 14 and take a Monarch bounce, downed at the 12. Momentum has swung a little here, 16. Paul. 16, it has. I think it has, and uh, Monarchs are getting it together here. Set it up at the 16, and we'll see what they uh, come out with here towards the other. Minute seven left. They have one timeout remaining. And we'll come right out to the line of scrimmage. Let's see where they can get done in 107. Here's your hand the handoff. And pick up of a little bit by Senezal. Home. And a flag, it looks like a oh, these referees unsportsmanlike are, against St. Francis. These referees are killing me. Personal foul. Personal wasn't, foul. Wasn't on Sportsman. It was just a personal foul. But enough for a first down. The ball will go out to the 37 yard line of Archbishop Mitty, where they'll set up first and 10. Minute one to go here in the first half. Parents are doing more cheering than the mini cheering section. Big so cheering. Gonna parents give them, are gonna give fired them up. That's parents. right. Give them credit. Blitz. Oh, perfect time for a screen play. There's one block. Oh, great open field tackle by the Lancer. First down on the play, but boy, there was only one guy that could tackle him in that area, and he got in there. Mac Rokawa, the senior. That's a good call. Yeah, Morocco. Yeah. Looks to throw deep and uh, caught. Flag down. Monarchs make the catch as Toju Maku is down inside the 20 yard line. And just like that, Archbishop Mitty is coming to life here before the half. 37.8 seconds to go in the half. As we said, the Monarchs have one timeout. There was a flag on the play also for looks like to be interference. Ball is at the 15 yard line. Chain gang having a hustle down there now. Yeah. 
clock is going to run. They didn't take the penalty, so it, now they're stopping the clock to explain to the coach. Coach on the field, if, there he is, you can if, see him. He's arguing that they shouldn't have started the clock, but the thought process, I believe, being that if they didn't take the penalty, they took the play, that the clock, now they're gonna say the clock should, should have stopped and they're gonna, I guess, put some additional time back on the clock. get the word uh, yeah. up to the clock. Uh, Here's Danny Sullivan talking it over. That gives them plenty of time to put some plays together. They've moved the clock back to 37 seconds. So put about four and a half seconds back onto the clock. First down and 10 at the Lancer 15 yard line. This would be huge if the Monarchs could get into the end zone prior to the end of the first half. Both teams certainly taking their time coming back out. Here come the Lancers. Well, the officials have certainly been involved in the first half of the game. Yes, I they have. I think they've drawn the ire of both teams at yes. some point in time. <clears throat> okay, Monarchs put it together here. This would be a Great going into, I always go into the halftime. One receiver looking, throws towards the edge on his caught touchdown, Archbishop Mitty. Into the end zone for the Brandon Hightower, I believe it is. No, I'm sorry, it's number nine. That's Caden Allard into the end zone for Archbishop Mitty. And we've got a 21 to 12 ball game pending the extra point. Nate Malone for the extra point. Snap, spot, kick is up. The kick is good. And with 30 seconds to go here in the first half, it's a 21 to 13 St. Francis Lancer lead. So Archbishop Mitty to go ahead and kick off. Now only trailing by eight. So rallying here in the second quarter, which is exactly what they needed to do. Pooch kick again, takes a high hop. Return Scherenberg, Scherenberg gets out to midfield. Nice return by Merritt, Scherenberg took it on the high hop and suddenly there was open space in front of him. Gets it right out to midfield. The Lancers have no timeouts left. They may be content just to go into halftime and regroup, we'll see what they do. Maybe they'll take one shot at it downfield. From what I've seen, they're in the very slippy area, slippery area of the field right now on the painted portion with the brown and white. Has time, now throws out into the flat and ooh, almost got Kia Ayunu killed. Kia Aina gets out of bounds at Kiana Aina is picks up about seven on the play. Second down and three. Clock is stopped with 12.6 seconds to go since he went out of bounds. 
This could conceivably be the last play of the half. Time. Throws deep downfield, has a man, it is broken up. Good defense nice by Archbishop Mitty. Adam Carrera, nice defense. Got the hand up there. Boy, that was some good defense there by the land, excuse me, by Archbishop well, Mitty. Yeah, good throw. I mean, good, good play. Oh, he had him. Nice he play had call. Him. It was yep. just good closing speed by yep. the Monarch defender to go ahead and knocked that away so this second down oh well, there's a penalty on the play i'm Jeez. sorry i want to say he called delay a game but if he did why wouldn't the clock then i don't know have stopped i couldn't see his hands when he called the yeah called the penalty he out. never looks our way no. sharon Burke is brought down at the 49 and that will do it for the first half. We are at halftime with the St. Francis Lancers in the lead, 21 to 13. Hey folks, we'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsors, like The Post. The Post Restaurant provides a sophisticated ambiance, a diverse menu, and acclaimed service for an exceptional guest experience. The Post, comfort food you can feel good about. The Cranberry Scoop is an iconic gift boutique in downtown Los Altos that provides unique items in a charming space. The Cranberry Scoop is the gift store locals love. The agency is revolutionizing real estate with a boutique approach, creative marketing, and cutting edge technology. The agency, make yourself at home. And finally, the Peninsula Center of Cosmetic Dentistry offers a patient-centered approach that makes every client feel at ease. Transform your smile at the Peninsula Center of Cosmetic Dentistry. Thanks for sticking around. Now let's get back to the game. Second half just about to get underway here as the Lancers will receive the kickoff to start the second half. Mm -hmm. I had thought Mitty was going to get the ball to... Uh... No, but that, is a, but that doesn't make sense because on the opening kickoff, Mitty fumbled the ball. So that's true. The Lancers would have gotten it either way. So we had a momentary lapse of focus towards the end of the first half, but the Lancers will get it here to start the second half. They lead 21 to 13. Another pooch kick taken. The up back, Scherenberg. Scherenberg starts slow, then gets ahead of steam, gets out over the 35, out to about the 37-yard line. Special teams, uh, Billy Hutton in on the stop. All right. Coach Calgano settling them down. See what adjustments they made at halftime. That's huge. The give, call, oh, big hole, big hole. He's got a blocker out in front. He's past the last tackler. Oh. And oh. Kiana Aini. Aina is into the end zone for the touchdown. First play from scrimmage. Kingston. Kayana Aina. Got around Excuse the corner me. and he tight roped down. I thought somebody was going to knock yeah. him out. He had, but he had a blocker out in front of him and only one defender out in front of him. Once he got past the line of scrimmage, he was just gone. Boy, that will knock the sails out of your Boy, wind. Boy, that sure will. <laughs> <laughs> or the wind, wind out of your sails, you. too. <laughs> Thank you. And for the extra play. Goodness. First play. Well, he is the workhorse for the Lancers. Snap spot kick is up. The kick is good. A break in the action. 11.43 to go in the third quarter. 28 to 13 St. Francis. So just like that, the Lancers, 17 seconds into the second half, are on the scoreboard again. 
and open up a 15 point cushion. Thank you. As the Monarchs will look to answer back here in the third quarter. Kick is away, we'll be taken at the five yard line. And a return out to about the 19 yard line. Where Archbishop Mediel set up first and 10. Senezal was the return man for the Monarchs. Well, Monarchs have shown they can sc score through the air. Let's see what their play calling is, and uh, they got to get back in the game here. Absolutely. Low snap. Throw out in the flat is complete. To Billy Hutton. Hutton was on one knee when he made the catch, so that'll end the play right there. Out five-yard pickup. It'll bring up a second down and five. Okay, they're doing something here. Officials time out. We'll see what. Where they place the ball. They might be switching the ball. Or they went to the other. I'm not sure why they moved it. Well, they moved to the end of the wrong hash line. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see f uh, number five and number nine on your TV here getting their plays. They get a different plays from uh, a different coach. They get the formation. The yeah. formation, yeah. That's, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, big run, first down, nice. Run out over the 30 to the 35 yard line. By Senezal. Senior Maroka in on the stop. So he first down for Archbishop Mini at the, their own 35 yard line. Give again, some good positive yardage again by Senezal. Pickup of a looks like about seven on the play. It'll bring up a second down and three. Anya has it, looks to throw, has time. Throws over the middle, wide open. Number nine, that's Caden Allard. Allard has the first down, gets inside Lancer territory to the 42 yard line. So good looking drive so far by so far. Archbishop Mitty. Running play brought Ooh. down in the backfield, and that was sniffed out by the Lancers. Um, at, I'm sorry, uh, working on that right-hand side, uh, Blazinski and Smith for your uh, midi linemen, and uh, they're doing a good job. McCombie was the ball carrier and lost about three yards on the play. It'll bring up a second down and 13. Fake, a little slip, Ooh. and then sacked and swarmed over by the Lancers. Yeah, nice. 
Here's Jackson Cahoon again. Great D, they're quick. It'll bring up a third down and 22. The fake Campania with some room to run fights for extra yardage and gets back inside the 45 yard line. It'll be spotted at the 43 yard line, but there is laundry on the field. As the yellow flag is out yet again. And that was a good fake. Looks, Excellent fake. Looks like it's delay of game. Ah. No, holding, I'm no, sorry. No, that's, well, that's guess, a big one, buddy. Good, big guess, walk off yeah, here. Yeah, boy. The Monarchs going entirely in the wrong direction. Brings up a third down and 31 yards to go. Uh, not a lot of options when you face third and 31. <laughs> nope. Not a lot of specialty plays there for... Okay, boys, if we're in a third and yeah. 31, this is what we're going to do. It's Throws out in the flat complete, and a nice tackle by the Lancers. Pickup of, I don't know, maybe about a third of that a distance. Brings up a fourth down. And Maroka in on the stop. Yep. They got a little something back. They did. They did. Come on. Fourth and 20. Hunting situation. Oh, here they come. Oh, blocked again. Boy, the Lancers twice have gotten in there tonight on punts to go ahead and block them. The Cahoon brothers, both of them, Jackson and Chase. Right there. They were Cahooned. Here's my buddy. <laughs> he hasn't lost it at best. That was, no, that was a total Cahooning. <laughs> Sharon Burke. Weaving his way through traffic, gets inside the 30-yard line. Yeah. Billy Hutton hauled him down. Second down and six on the play. Billy will be back next year. He's only a junior. Again to Scherenberg. Scherenberg breaks free. And into the end zone he goes. Wow. Wow. 27 yards out. He scampers wow. into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Lancers on the verge of yes. Rio. They have their 21-point lead back. Yeah, Scherenberg, uh, 190-pound senior. But been, he's seeing some action tonight, and uh, he is. Here you go. He got off to a slow start, but boy, he's really uh, come on here. The second and third quarter yes. snap, spot kick is up, kick is good. A break in the action. Six oh eight to go in the third quarter. It is thirty five to thirteen, St. Francis. So the Lancers to kick it off. Kick. 
Kick taken at the one. Hutton looking to break free. And oh my, he's crunched. Gets out to about the 12. Between 30. And then he Folletti was. and uh, Schoenberg. He, he got down there. Huh? He's still fired up over that touchdown. Touchdown. Likes playing special teams. So we'll see how the Monarchs respond here. They had some momentum going at the end of the first half. and They sure did. It got up and left and then swarmed over and sacked is Campagna. Second down and 13, and we've got a quarterback change as Campania comes out of the game. And the junior, Jonah Cronin, comes in. Five and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Okay, yeah. Well, let's see what he can do. Yeah, get the junior in there. He hands off. No, he doesn't. He throws. <laughs> and a flag that's going to be against the Lancers. So Cronin comes out firing the ball. Cronin. It is pass interference against St. Francis. It's a 15 yard penalty brings the ball out to the 24 yard line. Cronin stays out there. The give. Some good positive yardage by Mitty. Just tripped up. I didn't see anybody with a tackle. A.J. Senezal picks up nine. Makes it a second down and one. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage come the Monarchs. Now Crony looks over for the play. Everyone's on the same page. He's got it. Same the play. Handoff. And first down yardage for Senezal as he gets out to the 35-yard line. Actually, the 36-yard line. So first and 10 for Archbishop Mitty. Four and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Oh, Blitz is picked up. Throw over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Maddox Gomez. Great job by Archbishop Mitty to pick up that Blitz by the Lancers. They came, they came charging in. Second down and ten. Cronin throwing deep, has a man out of bounds, it looks like, and they're going to wave him out of bounds. He did come down. He caught it, but his first foot down was out of bounds. Toju Maku, intended receiver, a flag down on the play. I'm not surprised. Got to be interior, yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised either. 
They do like to throw their flags. Look like holding, buddy. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was a 10 yard penalty, so. Second and 20 at the 26. Second and 20. Hand off and nothing doing. Nothing doing. Soon as all maybe got back to the line of scrimmage, and that is all. Third down and 20. Senior Tonga Jr. had, his, had him by the arm tackle and uh, slowed him up. There he is, waiting for the troops to get there. Throw, open, caught, nice play. Maku gets out over the 40, out to the 43 yard line. Brings up a fourth down. Senior uh, Joe Payer in on the uh, stop. The Monarchs will go for it. Fourth down and four. Browning looks, throws, has the man complete for a first down. Pass was complete to number 87. First to 10 at the Monarch 49. For Archbishop Mitty. Fake some time. Throwing deep down the middle and in Ooh. and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Well, he had two hands on there, too. He was looking for Toju Maku. Just couldn't come up with it. Yep. Close play. Fake, Cronin takes it himself, nothing doing. He gets to the 50, picks up a yard. It'll yep. bring up a third down and nine. Just couldn't get that head of steam up. Nope, could not. Tua wrapped him up on, on his ankles. Handoff, good head of steam, and a nice run. I think he got it. By 33, Ethan McCombie. Okay. McCombie picks up the first down, gets down to the 40 yard line. Okay, clock's ticking. They got the play now. They got it. They were a little confused for a second.
In trouble, oh, got rid of it. Set up the screen again, very nicely done. That's twice tonight that Archbishop Mitty has run that screen and, and it's worked effectively for him. Down to the 31 yard line. That's that hard charging defense and you're able to do that play. And there's a flag on the play. Well, they're talking about it, so we'll see what the discussion is all about. Okay. Shouldn't be that. Downs or, yeah, uh, yeah or down yards. What are they going to do here? We don't know what it is yet. Let's find out. Looked like a good play to me, and it's... Still trying to figure, we haven't seen an official signal. He might explain it to Mitty Coach too. It's gonna be a first and 10 again, or? Flag, referee's going over to Coach Sullivan. I have no idea. Second and 10, that's what we know. First and well, 10. Well, no, it says first and 10. First so and 10. I have no idea what was or was not called. And there still seems to be a state of confusion in the mind of the referee. And a lot of eyes are on the coach. I, it, I guess somebody called Mulligan, I think. And we're just going to play it over again. Sure, why not? At the referee's <laughs> discretion. Yes. Coach Calcani, a well-timed mulligan taken here in the towards the end of the third quarter. Oh, <laughs> tackle went right on. by the runner. He came right into the backfield. Another carry by McCombie. And McCombie, a nice... Nice little pickup, about four yards. It'll bring up a second down and six. Bishop Mitty quickly going up to the line of scrimmage. Has time, throws towards the end zone. Oh, fight between the two of them. We're, we'll see what the flag's going to be about. It looked like, looked like the receiver was trying to throw him out of the way, and it looked like the defender was bear-hugging him. Uh, so it's, they're gonna, it's gonna be against the defense. I, be I believe you are correct. It always is. So we'll see where they spot the ball. They're looking for the football now. They found it in the corner of the end zone. They'll bring it back out now. It looks like they're going to put it. Oh, they got to march it. I think for a second, some. Some of the Monarch fans thought it was offensive pass. First, he was going the wrong way, but figured it out. So it'll be a first down at the 20 yard line. There's eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. On the Monarchs, I'm keeping them honest, run it once in a while, but I'd put it in the air a lot. These uh, defense of these Lancers. Well, Cronin's done a nice job yes. here coming in. He's kind of there lit a fire again. and he goes towards the end zone, tipped up and incomplete. No flag on that one as he just <coughs> couldn't get it over the outstretched arms of the defender who tipped it away. That's a nice play. One second to go in the third quarter. Second down and 10 from the 20.
Oh, nothing doing on the give up the middle. He gave it to Maku in the backfield and nothing doing. No. And that will do it for the third quarter. A break in the action. The Lancers in the lead 35 to 13. Third down and 13 for Archbishop Mitty. They've got the ball at the 23 yard line of the Lancers. Give on the run, oh, big hole. But quickly, the Lancers converge on Sinazol and bring him down. Pick up of about six on the play. Sophomore Sean Welch in on the stop. Came up from his uh, backfield position. Brings up a fourth down and six. Monarchs are going to go for it, and they absolutely need to, trailing by 22 points. Bad snap. Cronin has it, throws towards the end zone, caught in the end zone for the touchdown. Toju Maku. With the catch. Nice catch. Nice Very play. Very nice job. Nice throw. Nice catch. Boy, Cronin looks good. That he kid is. that came to junior, coming in off the bench, leads him on a scoring drive. Extra point attempt now by Malone. It's a bad snap. Kick is up. The kick is good. Nice recovery by the holder and by Malone. A break in the action, 35-20, to St. Francis. So the Lancers deep to receive. Malone to kick it off. Webb is, they've been doing most of the night. This one is taken by Kiana Ina. And then, boy, he Jesus. backtracks, and the Monarchs track him down. So the wind's starting to come back into the sails a little bit. The Lancers will set up shop first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. Hand off to Keanu Ina. Now here he goes, breaking into one, another one, and nice open field tackle by the Monarchs. He gets out to about the 37, 38 yard line. Yeah, Adam Carrera, nice tackle. They're gonna get him out to the 39 yard line. Huh? A little further than even I thought he went. But a first down and 10 for the Lancers. Big run to take him out of the shadow of their own go post. Whistles. False start. Yeah. Five yards. Make it a first and 15.
Hand off to Sharon Berg. Picks up about three yards. Be a second down and 12 for the Lancers. Handoff, uh, pick up maybe a yard or two. Might get back to the original line of scrimmage. Brings up a third down and 10. As much as Coach Calcagno would love to be able to continue to run the ball, he's gonna probably have to consider a pass play here. It is a draw, so they do keep it on the ground. And oh, not enough for the first, but nice pickup by Kiana Aina. And a timeout taken by the Monarchs. We've got a break in the action. 8.46 to go in the ball game. It is 35 to 20, St. Francis. So the Lancers are going to punt it away on the fourth and three. High punt by hand, and it's muffed in a scramble for it. It looks like he the Monarchs went back on it, yes. Yeah. Billy Hutton fell on, his, on the punt. Yeah, if Archbishop Betty cleans up some of these gaffes that they make and hang on to the ball a little better, they, they are a good team. Yes, they are. Well coached. They just need to stop shooting themselves in the foot. So Campani is back in at quarterback. Campani throws towards the sideline. Oh, almost a conceivable <laughs> possible pick six on that. It was yeah, Joseph Bayer. Uh, Mitty has their own field, or are they City College? Uh, no, they usually play at home. At home, okay. Yeah. I've never been down there. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice little campus. They've got a gym similar to St. Francis, where you've got kind of the upstairs so area okay. where you can sit, and also downstairs. Okay. They've got like a big set of bleachers on one side. Then the other side where the visitors are is kind of up, upstairs. <laughs> okay. Throw, oh, incomplete. That was thrown behind him. He really didn't have a yeah, chance on that. Didn't. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, I'm not. I am not going to sit up here on my first football game and criticize it, you know, the coach or say anything, but, I, but boy, number seven really came in and lit a fire under that team, Crony. Yeah. And they've gone back to Campani. And he's a senior. Campani's earned the position. But he just seems a little off tonight. And Cronin really seemed on. Right. Nutter low. Whistle blows. Hit the ground? Uh, well, that wouldn't have mattered. <coughs> but I don't. Yeah. A lot of the snaps have been low. Have you noticed? Yeah, they have. It, yeah. This this was an illegal procedure that they called. Okay, yeah. False start, okay. So it brings up a third down and 15.
fake play action. No okay. good protection. Gonna and have now, to go himself. boy, that was, yeah, that's 15 yards is a long way to run. That's right, and he tripped over uh, the Lancer laying on the ground. <laughs> yeah, and he'll get credited with a tackle. Yeah, Deion, Deion Jackson. So it brings up a fourth and 14. Deion was on, he's a sophomore too. They're going to go for it. Wow. I mean, I guess, I guess you have to. Yeah, come on. You got McCoy right there, a sophomore, and uh, Deion Jackson. Two sophomores in the game right now. Getting some PT. And type out called by Archbishop Mitty. So a break in the action. Seven minutes, 28 seconds to go in the game. It is 35 to 20, St. Francis. So the Monarchs come out to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. Big play, obviously. Complete, and boy, that's close. I don't think he got I know. it. Altani doesn't think so. He thinks I it's think fourth he's a down. Yard. Yeah. yeah, I think he's a yard short, and that's a turnover on downs as that was the fourth down pass. So the Lancers will get the ball back at the 27-yard line. And now you will see the methodical pounding of runners by St. Francis as they try to whittle the clock down as far as they can. The give, got Aina, Aina flag uh -huh. for looks like in the area of holding. <coughs> well, here's another, oh, he's giving it back to him. Yeah, they, I think they just talked to him saying, hey, don't pick the official's flag up and throw it to him. <laughs> Leave it on the ground. A lot of Monarch fans now filing for the exit. Oh. It is getting chilly out there. It's a yes, it first, is. now the first day of fall. Yes, it is. Is today the first day of fall? I believe it t tonight. I think it turns tomorrow. Like, okay. No, or right around now, I think. Okay. I don't know. I, okay. I, I, usually I can feel the autumnal change. Oh, oh my goodness. Listen to <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Swank in the fullback position right there. All right. Seeing some changes by yeah. the Lancers. Right. Run again. Same play. Boy, he's going to try to get to the outside. He does. He's picking up yardage, he's tripped up, but he's gonna be down close to a first down. We'll see where they're gonna spot it. It is a first down. He gets down to the 15 yard line. It'll be a first down for St. Francis. Clock continues to run, six and a half minutes to go in the game. And Lancers will be in no hurry to break the huddle. Not under center. Scherenberg with the carry. Picks up a couple. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to give him one. I thought he had two. They gave him one. Second down and nine. Knapp surveys the defense, lets some more time run off the clock. The give. Boy, that, that was a nice. touchdown saving that was, tackle. That was. He was out, he got outside. Kiana down to the 12-yard line. 
brings up a third down and about seven. Five minutes to go in the game. Give again. Oh, big hole trying to get to the outside. Touchdown. He's quick. Good smooth runner. He is. He is. And that was a real nice run. He dipped his shoulder into that big hole, saw it start to close, and went to the outside to get the touchdown and make it a 41 to 20 St. Francis lead, pending the extra point. Christopher Hand for the extra point and then a whistle and player for Mitty comes off the field. Huh? No, the penalty against Mitty for an illegal substitute, but they're just gonna go ahead and kick it anyway. Yeah. Uh, they declined it, so they could just stay where they were for the extra point. Makes sense. You're certainly not going to go for two when you got this Whoa, big a lead. No, no. You don't need that. Kick is up. Kick is good. Breaking the action. 440 to go in the ball game. It is 42 to 20, St. Francis. So the Lancers to kick it off. Christopher Hahn out there to kick it. Into the end zone, touchback. Monarchs looks like they're going to bring Croning back, back in. in. Yeah. yeah, good idea. I agree. Give the junior some time. Not a lot of other starters out there, but. Ooh. Good pick up there by McCombie. Yeah, we're getting a couple different defensive numbers now. Yeah. Coach Polson, uh, number 17 in. Luke Barnulich also in. Ball's at the 35-yard line, first down and 10 for the Monarchs. Run again. Again by McCombie. No real gain on the play. It'll bring up a second down and 10. Scherenberg going both ways. Uh, initially slowed him down. He's still out there on He's defense. He's still out there, yeah. yeah. Throw out in the flat in, complete. Intended for Kevin McQueen. Mm-hmm. 
third and 11. Oh, swarmed oh boy, over oh in the backfield. Nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. All right. Elijah Bautista, that. the ball carrier. Sean McCoy was the uh, Lancer in the backfield. <laughs> it's just quicker that way. Mm -hmm. You can just get him in the backfield. And a little less exertion on the running back's part. Just keep that Just clock ticking. Heck yeah. 312 to go in the game. Oh man. How is a it looked like he almost got him in the face mask, but I there's know. no flag. No flag. He got him a pie. So that's a turnover on downs. Gives the ball back to the Lancers. Oberweiss Manion. Who's the right arm in there, <laughs> in there taking in Cronenberg down? First and 10 at the 23 with three minutes to go in the game. Braden Maruo Hanamoto now in at quarterback for St. Francis. And a nice run by number 29. That is Noah Ramirez. So the junior's getting some playing time now. Second down and three. Give off the right side. Big pile up. Pick up of a couple. Ramirez, the ball carrier. Noah Ramirez getting the ball carrier. Two minutes to go in the game. Third down and one. If they get a first down, I would anticipate we'll see, we'll see some kneel downs to wrap this game up. And, and knocked down at the five yard line. First down. Ramirez again, the ball carrier. Ah, uh, flag on the play. Not sure why you make a call that late in the game when you know they're just going to kneel down on the next three plays. But I digress. These are all new numbers in here we're looking Hold at it, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just scrambling to. So a hold on the play, backs the ball up to the 21-yard line and makes it a third down and nine.
Hand off and nothing he, doing. Boy, he's met head on. Yep. Although he knew what was going on. Kalia Buck in on the uh, initial stop. There is a senior linebacker. Ball carrier was again Noah Ramirez. Clock runs one minute to go in the ball game. Lancers will go for it here on fourth down to continue running the clock and see how far they can get it down. He might be able to just wrap it here on a, well, it's fourth down. So, Mitty will get the ball back. Unless they get a first. And that's not gonna happen. Ramirez again, the ball carrier gets down. To the 13 yard line. It's a turnover on downs to Archbishop Mitty. 30 seconds to go in the game. Archbishop Mitty not in any hurry to come out. They're looking for a player. They need their, quarter, their quarterback. Cronin had thought the game was over. He's down talking to his buddies. And it's like, ah, uh, you got to come out and run a play. Maybe two. We'll see if maybe Mitty just potentially uh, takes a just, knee or just yeah. runs the ball. Well, you know, they're going to hand off. Yeah. They're, now they're out of the shotgun. There's the handoff. There's your hand on oh, Lord. All right, good run. Out over to the 33, maybe 34-yard line. They're going to mark it to the 34. First down for Mitty. Clock will stop as they move the chains. 22 seconds to go in the game. Hand off again. Same play again, going left side. Keep them in bounds, they don't. So we'll run another, we'll run another play. Well, buddy, first game of the year, I don't think we did too bad. No, I think we did okay. We it was, did okay. You know, for our shakedown, I think we were, yeah, in, yep. you know, I'll give us a seven the, out of 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a power outage. Uh, power outage threw, threw, us, off, threw us off our to, game, yeah. threw us off our game. Yeah. We, we were but, ready to uh, go. We'd done our pregame speeches. We were good to go. We were ready to go. Yeah. Voices were intact, yeah, and, uh, and they, they had down, no, we had no power. Downhill from there. Did our best. We're resilient. Here's it. We try. At our age, we that's all we can do. <laughs> just try to be resilient. Tackles made. Game is over. And the cannon signals the end of the game. The Lancers come away in their first league game with a 42-20 to 20 victory over the Archbishop Mitty Monarchs. For all of us here at KMVT, for my compadre, the retired mailman, Terry Ward, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you all next time.